Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome to the first generation finale of Let's Play Fantasy Star 3! Since last time, I made my way back to Shusaran here, and I bought a ton of healing items. Five monomates and an antidote for every one of my party members here. Not so much that it's actually that threatening, but yeah, they don't. the enemies in the next dungeon don't have a whole lot of burst damage like a fear moose would have. They don't, you can't actually encounter them there to my knowledge. But they have a lot of multi-targeting attacks that just wear you down. And I would rather save all of my tech points for the boss. So let's see, one other thing I want to show off here. They got Star Mist and Moon Dews here. Uh, Star Mist, if I recall correctly, restore everyone's HP. I don't think that does tech points there, I forget. But yeah, so it's really expensive there. Or very expensive. And uh, same thing with the Moon Dew here that revives a deceased party member there. So, but one of the things is that the shop here and at Sill, those are the only two shops in the game that can sell them. And if you're going to buy them, this would be the time to do so because eventually you will not be able to buy them later. So, let's head on up to Sill then, shall we? By the way, another thing is that the Kingdom of Sill the armor shops, or weapon and armor shops, both of them, I think, sell, like, endgame tier equipment, but it's obscenely expensive, and the enemies just don't give a whole lot of money at this point. So, yeah, I'm not going to be doing that, but I suppose if you get nothing better to do with your time, that could help. So we got the two moons back in alignment, or wherever they are, so that way we can change the tides of the area and make it through. Unfortunately, you can't quite get there directly on the world map. You gotta go all the way through the castle here in order to get there. Fortunately, we... well, the front gate was open, so we didn't have to go all the way through that dungeon all over again. Thank goodness. But anyway, okay, yeah, so we can get out the back gate there, come up here... Ha-ha! Secret passage! Okay, Lyle, just in all the enemies in the front there, and that should be good. Ah -ha. Poison isn't too much of a concern, but I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. First thing we're going to do, though, is we got to clear out some treasure. Okay. Now let's uh, check out this place. Let's see, the inn is to the right there. Remember that for later, viewers, because I'm gonna ha I'm gonna come back there after I loot the place first. Oh, well that would explain why that monster captured her. Yeah, well, she's a lion, just like Lyle there. Ah, well, how would you know? We haven't seen a lion for like a thousand years. Oh, really? Huh, wasn't that what Arachio said too? Huh, that's weird. Well, anyway, yeah, the item shop there that has, I think, pretty much the same stuff that you could buy at Shusaran, so I'm not really worried about that. But also, uh, up here, yeah, the castle is locked. Whatever shall we do? Well, just like Shusaran, we gotta use these fountains in order to get around the place, so let's check it out. How's my HP doing, by the way? I thought we took some hits there. Yeah, we did. Heal up. At this point, I'm just going to use Gerez for my healing because I'm going to rest up at the end before really diving into this place later. Got an escape pipe there, so we can use that to trigger another sequence break. But not right now, because right now we got new enemies in the back there. In the upper left, we got a Lobo Wing there. Let's see, those guys, or Lobo Bat, excuse me. Those guys can cast gravity on your party, but it's not too powerful. And the guy in the upper right there is Blotter. And those guys, what do they do? They can also cast gravity, a little more powerful than the Lobo Bat can there. And I think we're good. You want to watch out for the guys in the lower right there, the Glops, because they are resistant to Xan. The guys in the back row there, both of them are resistant to gravity. And those guys have quite a bit of HP, which is one of the reasons why I distributed my tech levels to Xan, not gravity, even though gravity could hit more enemies. 
Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have Lyle continue assaulting them, and I'm gonna have Ren go up front here. I don't want Ren hitting the back row, because if he went first and then killed them, Lyle's Zan spell would hit the flops, and that wouldn't be very effective. But alright, so far so good. Let's see, I think I took quite a bit of damage there. Yes, indeed. Let's keep healing up there. Let's see, now for the next treasure that I want to get, we need to go into the fifth fountain from the left. There's four on the left side, four on the right there. And there's a whole bunch of these stairs here, but, well, obviously there's only eight of them, because there's only eight fountains. Well, there's nine. There's the one that leads to the end, of course. But only one of those fountains will actually take us to the end of the place. So now that I've actually gotten most of the treasure in the place, let's save up here. Or not save, but, I mean, heal up here. All right. So let's see, we need to take the third fountain from the left there in order to get to the end. All the other ones, they basically just loop around to each other or lead you to dead ends or whatever. So yeah, this is the way we want to go. Okay, let's take a look around. Pretty straightforward to the end here. Okay, and after that battle there, yeah, Lena took quite a bit of hits there. So yeah, I de definitely want to keep her HP up because she has so little of it. So just keep her in the rear of the party, if that actually matters. I don't know if it does. But yeah, I'd like to keep her HP above 30 at all times. Because if they all just gang up on you with their multi-targeting techs, they will kill you. So at this point, you want to stick to using Monomates instead of uh, Muse Gerez spell. You want to save that for the boss, who also has multi-targeting techs. The random battles are not nearly as threatening, though you do want Lyle to pretty much use Xan in every fight. I shouldn't run out of tech points on the way to the end, but if I'm getting close, I want to hold on to at least two for uh, Lyle there to cast Xan. Remember, all melee techs cost two tech points. Doesn't matter which one you use or how you distributed your levels in terms of cost. Well, so far I've seemed to be doing pretty good, not taking too much damage. Usually I end up with only a few monomates left by the end. And Lyle bites the best. Oh well, they all just kind of ganged up on him. So in order to revive him, I had Mew use Reaver on him, even though... Yeah, it had pretty low accuracy. I had to use it three times to get him revived. Holy cow. Yeah, now the enemies start kicking my ass. After I get overconfident and everything. Lulling me into a false sense of security. Well, we got 250 Mercedes there. I mean, uh, try mate. Okay, those stairs to the left there? Yeah, those are the ones that lead to the end. That is, if I can stop getting into random battles every five steps. Okay, there it is. I'll just go up the stairs backwards. That works too. But anyway, okay, now it's pretty straightforward to get to the end here. No more going up and down. But we do have new enemies there. Okay, what are those guys? Dryads. They can cast Grez on all of the enemies. So, yeah, we want to take them out pretty quickly there. To have Lyle. Oh. Hmm, they got the glops of it are strong against Zan. Okay, we'll have to rely on Ren to get the job done. Although, maybe I can... No, wait, they're... The glop... I was going to think about using Sue, but the glops are also strong against that, too. Hmm. I suppose I could use gravity, but that would be really weak. So, yeah, we'll just go with physical attacks for everyone. Uh, gotta keep an eye on Lena's HP. I'm probably going to heal her up just to play it a bit conservatively. I definitely do not want any more people to die. Hopefully I've gotten enough I've gotten enough tech points to get through the rest of this. Okay, well you got a level up, so that helps you out a little. Okay, how are we doing? Okay, Lyle, let's use that there. Awesome. What's that over there? I can't really get a good look at them. I think that's Maya down there, but I can't get a good look. Well, let's keep on walking around. 
Gotta go around the castle clock. Yeah, clockwise. In order to get inside. And we got a new enemy there. Okay, Clops. Let's see, those guys can cast Boy, but it's really, really weak. But they do have a lot of HP, so you want to watch out for that. Let's have all my melee fighters go after Clops there. And let's see, Lyle. Let's have you go with Zan up front. Lena, you also go into the rear there. And that should be good. Yeah, the last goals there, or buzz goals, whichever one they were. Yeah, those guys, they couldn't block me from going into the rear column because they're or the rear row, because they were in a different column there. Okay, how are we doing here? Yeah, Mew, you're going to need some healing, so let's do that. Lyle, not quite there yet. You've got quite a bit of HP. But he levels up really, really slowly, like Tella, except, yeah, he doesn't need it. So I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, let's see. We want to go on down here. Okay, took care of those guys. I'm not going to bother talking to any of the soldiers in the castle. They all pretty much do the same things as the townspeople anyway. So, yeah, nothing new to get there. Let's see, I believe... Yes, we go up now. Ah, I was just going to check there. Yeah, is the gate locked? Yeah, it still is, even though we're inside. Okay, let's take a... Well, a roundabout way of getting to the throne room. Yeah, now we got to go counterclockwise in order to get in there from the inside. I'm glad I bought all those monomates for worst case scenario. Aha! There she is. Why he's just holding her there, I don't know. Are you like her dad or something? I don't know. Yeah, a whole lot of good all those soldiers are doing for you, pal. Okay, made it. Okay, so how are we doing here? Do I have... Okay, I have one monomate. Do you have any? Okay. Well, I've got a few left over. Yeah. Uh, yeah, these guys have been kicking my ass. So, one thing I do want to do, though, before proceeding onward, is any consumable items I want to give to my cyborgs there. If you have any really powerful stuff, like, I don't know, needlers or something that you want to hold on to, you might want to give it to them, too. And you know what? Before proceeding onward, yeah, let's make a backup save here just in case uh, mostly for the split paths that you'll be you'll see coming up here hey how's it going nuts looks like an inside job to me for boss time against the king of sill who doesn't have unique boss music so oh well but anyway okay yeah i want lyle to use xan on all of them hopefully lyle or ren We'll go first. Now, even though the king is in the middle there, he's actually considered to be part of the right column there. So if you were going to use Needlers or Sue, you could do that. But he's strong against all melee elements. So, yeah, you can't really do a whole lot about that. Mew, pretty much for the remainder of the battle, is going to be casting Gerez over and over and over again. Okay, yeah, Mew, why don't you do that? You are going to have to tell her to do that in every round, because otherwise she'll default to just using a regular physical attack. Okay, let's see. I'm going to have Ren attack there, and probably have Mew use a Monomate. You do have one, right? Okay, yeah. Use that on Lyle there. Should be fine. We do have enough... Uh, tech points to or HP to survive a few of his spells there. Okay, go with Gerez and keep on going with the physical attacks. Yeah, even Foy won't deal a whole lot of damage to him. Whoa, whoa! Phew! Yeah, my Gerez spell can only do so much. But we got him! Woohoo! Alright! Ha ha! Oh, so he was trying to kill his uncle? Huh. Well, there you are. What do you mean? Oh, well, yeah, we did kind of kill you, so I guess now we're in charge, huh? 
To be the man, you've got to beat the man. Oh, okay, yeah. So Terra is on the western half of the Landon region there, but we couldn't actually walk there. How she got, or how Lena got here, I don't know. But who should Reese marry? Maya, Lena, or both? Find out next time on Let's Play Fantasy Star 3! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!